mentioned since we're singing tonight, our singing would be better if we just get packed in here just a little bit more. You might get to know somebody else. Who knows? So uh, move, move if you will, you know, out and closer in, and let's make this a little bit better tonight. Thank you. Good evening. While you're uh, while you're moving towards the middle, please continue to go. Pay no attention. Well, not actually pay no attention. Just pay kind of dual <laughs> dual purpose. Multitask. Listen while you're moving. Welcome. If you're visiting, we're glad that you're here. And we'd ask that you uh, stay around for a few moments after the services that we get to know you a little bit better. Perhaps find out if we can serve you in some way also if you're visiting there's some visitors cards please fill those out if you're if you're willing and uh, pass those toward the center aisles the ushers will be by in just a few moments to uh, to pick those up our next time of service for our midweek bible study is wednesday that's at seven o'clock prayer meeting bible study we hope that you choose to be with us don't forget uh the prayer sheet that's outside it's got the update all the names that you can go down as you're doing your your daily uh Bible study and your daily prayers, you can use that as a, a reminder. Please keep the ones uh, in the uh, bulletin uh, at the at the forefront. Um, the Sanders, the Robinsons, uh, the Pittmans, uh, and the, the things that they're um, dealing with, please remember them. Also, the uh, the Fricky family, Mitchell Fricky, as we said, a member at uh, Mayfair, uh, passed away, visitation is this afternoon or tonight, 5 to 8, and then at Valhalla, and then the uh, funeral is tomorrow at uh, 2 o'clock at Valhalla. Devotional tonight, immediately after services, uh, go towards the uh, the back, and uh, the church will be providing the uh, the meal and, and everything associated with it. Ladies' night, tomorrow night, the home of Leanne Richard, um, that's at 6 o'clock, and don't... Uh, don't forget that. <clears throat> also, this coming Wednesday, uh, homemade ice cream or whatever kind of ice cream you want to bring. Um, Wednesday night after uh, services, then we'll have fireworks outside while you eat your ice cream. You don't need to bring any uh, any uh, any fireworks. Uh, if you do want to contribute any money, you can uh, you can you can uh, see me or you can see uh, Carrie. And uh, and either one will be okay to take uh, to take care of that. There'll be a come and go uh, wedding shower for Chad Bowen and Rachel Van on July the 14th from 2 to 4. They're registered at Target, Dillard's, and Bed Bath and Beyond. That's the 14th of July, 2 to 4, and uh, that's here at the building. That'll be here at the building. That'll be here at the building uh, on the 13th. Also, vacation Bible school coming up on the uh, on the 13th don't forget the, the the mailable or the the handoutable if you will uh, flyers that you could you could give or, or leave with someone that'll be in two weeks the mornings for the younger children the afternoon is the youth rally for the teens and if you can help cc pat julia LaShawn, or yvonne or uh, hand or emily uh, Preston. also pat needs to meet with all those involved in bbs uh down front uh, right after services tonight, so don't, don't, uh, don't forget that. Ushers, if you'll uh, please pick up any visitors' cards. Don't forget the house drive for the Honduras trip that's coming up. House is about half full back there, so don't forget the that we need uh, to finish uh, taking care of that. And then the Bible study at the Jones's house tomorrow. Uh, you eat at 5:30, and the menu is pizza. So don't don't forget that also. Our first song is song number 301, song 301. Bruce Rosenblum will have our opening prayer. Brother Greg Richard will have our closing, as Brother Joel Hetty comes and has our scripture reading. I'll be reading from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, 
put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all, above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Pray with me, please. Our Father in heaven, we're so thankful for this day and the blessings that you give us. We're thankful for the ability to come here and study from thy word and sing praises to you. We ask tonight as we focus on singing that each of us will be able to sing to the best of our ability and sing in a well-pleasing manner. We ask, Father, that you will be with those who are sick and unable to be with us tonight. We ask your blessings to continue on them and their families, especially Virginia and David. And we ask that you give them strength. We ask, Father, that you will be with the elders in, of this congregation, that they will continue to guide us in the way that we should go. Give them strength and courage to continue that. We ask, Father, that you will guide, guard, and direct us through the rest of this service and the days of our life. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Appreciate those that got to move and hope you apply yourselves as I will tonight and are singing so we'll get the most edification. Sing the first, second, and last stanzas of Please of 301. <clears throat> I will sing the wondrous story of the Christ who died for me. How he left his home in glory for the cross of Calvary. Good. 
number 316 316 let's do the first and second verses in heaven they're singing a wonderful song a theme that shall never grow
alto, and then uh, after the alto, sing their first verse, the bass come in, and then after the bass, the tenor, and then after the tenor, sopranos will come in. After the sopranos have added their verse, uh, we'll all sing it through together one last time. Uh, so we'll try it, and I'll try to keep up the pace. <clears throat> love one another, for love is a God. Yeah. 
523. Let's sing the first and third verse. There is beyond the azure blue a God concealed from human sight. He did his skies with heavenly hue and framed the worlds with his great mind. There is a God. There is a God. He is a
598. 598. If you would, everybody, go ahead and please stand. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of regular rep repertoire so uh, sing out if you know be thou my vision O Lord of my heart not be all else to me Be thou my wisdom, 
619 number 619 Carrie asked me if I want to lead a song I said well I got a pretty bad cold he said great I'll put you down <laughs> so <laughs> we'll do them one at a time here we'll see if we can get through one first sing the 
first and fourth verse. Take time to be holy, speak of with thy Lord. mess it up you really 13 14 you really won't know if I mess it up so we'll go through it a couple of times it's a very pretty song um, and the words are very easy I think you'll get it and if I sing it a little differently then then you won't know either so that's good be still and Yeah. 
six seven. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Oh 
337, 337, sitting there listening and singing with you and then jotted down the, the songs a little bit and here's kind of what we sung about tonight. We sung about the great story of Jesus uh, so that we hopefully one day will see that wonderful city of God because we know that they are singing in heaven and that's because of the victory that we have in Jesus. We only have that though we seek his kingdom first and we do that by living according to the, the first commandment, which is love love other people and love um, one another. And, uh, of course, our living by faith each day is the way that uh, we know that we get to heaven one day. And we know that because of the assurances we have that God, he is alive. And uh, he is able to even promise us a mansion, robe, and a crown because we have glory land that awaits us. And um, we can only get to glory land, though, if we're standing on the promises. And we are able to stand on the promises each day if we allow God to have his vision through us with our lives. And we'll have a happier life with blue skies and rainbows. As we walk each day, sometimes even alone at Eve, we're able to take the time to be holy and to think about how we're living so that we can be able to think about the home that is ahead of us. Oh, they tell me of a home. And then we can also be assured to be still and know that God is able to do with us whatever he wills if we humble ourselves in his sight because he is majestic. Tim? Sounded like we just had our Devo. I'm going to say amen. Let's stand and sing. <clears throat> it is a blessing to be able to gather and sing together. Brother Joel started out our service a few moments ago reading from Colossians chapter 3. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. The speaking that we do with one another, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs is exactly what's taking place this evening. The blessing of Christian worship and of proper singing is not that we are an audience 
that receives a message, but that we are a group that encourages one another, that we sing to each other, we admonish and encourage one another. And rather than speak about a verse tonight, I would like to, for our thoughts, just spend a moment with song number 602. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. We shall sing on that beautiful shore the melodious songs of the blessed, and our spirits shall sorrow no more, not a sigh for the blessing of rest. To our bountiful Father above, we will offer our tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love and the blessings that hallow our days. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Each of us, I'm sure, has passages of Scripture that are especially beloved. Some of them have come to us because of experiences that we've had in life, uh, perhaps uh, some that were very challenging to us, and because of that have special memories. Some simply because of the sentiment that are expressed, we have over the years grown fond of, of the concepts and the wording that has lifted our heart and encouraged us along the way. This song describes the picture of the child of God living in this world, but looking for a home in another world. There are lots of other songs we could have sung tonight. Here we are but straying pilgrims. Here our path is often dim, but to lead us on our journey. Still we sing this wayside hymn. I'm going that way. I'm pressing on to higher ground. To Canaan's land. I'm on my way. But we'll end with this thought. There's a land that is fairer than day. By faith, I see it afar. Christians declare with the testimony of their lives, the songs of their praise, that we believe in God that we believe in a place that is eternal, a place where God will protect and provide for the soul of mankind. One of my favorite passages is found in the Gospel of John, chapter 14. And as Jesus declares to his disciples, You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. And I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you. That where I am, you may be also. And then the Lord's remarks, If it were not so, I would have told you. Each of us declares with our songs and our spirit that we believe in the kingdom that is to come and the kingdom that we are now a part of. But it may be tonight that you are not a child of God, although in our presence you have not confessed that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and been baptized for the remission of your sins. And we would urge you to do that tonight. There may be in our midst tonight one who has been thinking of and planning for that moment, and that moment should be now. We're going to sing one more song for your encouragement tonight. And we hope that if your life is not as it should be with the Lord, if you need to return to God in faithful service and ask forgiveness, or if you need to put on your Lord in baptism tonight, that you'll come forward while we stand and while we sing. Won't you come?
being here, participating tonight in the singing. We know we have Lonnie wants to make an announcement, and uh, if you'll be coming forward, we have the Lord's Supper prepared this evening. If you'd like to partake of it, you can exit out to the foyer, and you'll be shown where you'll be served. On every fifth Sunday, we have what we call a family devotional, and that doesn't mean just the, the nuclear family, but it means everybody in the church family. So if you would uh, like to stay, we have some uh, food available. If the ladies that will help me in the kitchen will exit uh, at, during the last song, we're going to use uh, this time to bless that food. So go into the fellowship hall, make two lines, and serve yourself and sit down. I'm going to ask you not to sit anybody in your own age group. So if you're a teenager, leave a space beside you so an adult can sit by you. If you're an adult, leave a space beside you so a teenager can sit by you. And we're going to kind of mix and mingle you. The... Uh, Food was provided by our family ministry, and so we'd like you to stay in fellowship. We won't stay very late. The activity we'll do will not involve any movement. We'll be uh, at our tables doing an activity, and just want to invite everybody to stay and get to know some folks uh, in our intergenerational ministry. Uh, this is not our dismissal prayer, but it'll be a prayer for our food. Would you pray with me? Father, we thank you for the opportunity to fellowship tonight. We thank you for the food that has been provided for us. We ask that you bless it bless our fellowship time. Thank you for our congregation. Please accept our sacrifice of praise as a blessing and offering to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Brother Kerry. 602 will be our closing song. We're just going to do the first stanza, 602, and then we'll be dismissed in prayer. Do we encourage you to stay on, if you're, even if you're visiting with us. We'd like to have you tonight. And remind the service teams, if you would, please meet and do, uh, do what we do best there. <clears throat> There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the Father, we thank you for this opportunity we've had to come out tonight and sing these songs and worship with like-minded Christians. Dear Lord, may these songs be uplifting to us all and help us get through this week. Dear Lord, thank you for everything that you've done for us. We thank you for your son who died on that cross to give us an opportunity to live with you in heaven. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. <laughs>